Right guys, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use our new platform Match Trader. After purchasing an account with us, you'll receive two emails. One will be a welcome email containing your account credentials and the other will be a login link to the platform. We will then press the login icon which will take us to the login page of the trading platform. Once here, you'll input the email address associated with the account you just purchased and the password which can be found in the welcome email previously mentioned. If for some reason you're not able to locate the welcome email containing your account password, you can also navigate to your account dashboard and select the key icon which will also reveal your password. Once you have logged in, you'll be presented with the trading platform. If you would like to install the app, simply go across to this icon and select install desktop app. The Match Trader platform is very simple and easy to use and obviously has TradingView charts already integrated. To switch time frames, simply go to this icon and you'll be able to select whichever time frame you prefer. You can obviously see it ranges from the one minute chart to the one month chart. To change your chart type, you can simply press on this candlestick icon here. And another great feature is the ability to open up multiple charts at the same time. You can simply press this icon and choose whichever layout you prefer. To find all the available symbols, you can simply select all symbols and here you will have a choice between commodities, crypto, FX and indices. In our case we want to trade gold so we'd simply select commodities and go down to gold and if we'd like to add gold to our favorites we can simply press the star icon on the right and then it will be added to our favorites tab. If we then select gold we will see the gold chart. To place a market order you can simply go across to the lot size here and adjust it according to whatever lot size you prefer. In this case, we'll just place a buy order, for example. We can now see our order has been executed. And now if you want to place a stop loss, you just need to navigate to open positions and under stop loss, press the plus icon. Here you will be able to set a precise stop loss or you can simply just drag and drop your stop loss to the desired position. And same goes for your take profit. We simply press the plus icon once again and then we can drag and drop this wherever we would like. If you would then like to close your position manually, you can simply navigate to the right of your screen and select the X next to your order. If we would like to create a pending order, we can simply press on the new order icon here. We will then go across to pending order and here you can adjust your lot size as well as your desired entry price. Once this is done, you can add your stop loss and take profit. These can be set to specific price levels or you can simply just drag and drop them to where you want. Once this is done, you can select either one of these icons depending on the position you're in and this will set your pending order in place. You will then also be able to edit this order in the pending orders tab as you can see here. Another great feature is the built-in economic calendar which you can see right here. And to expand this you can simply press on the down arrow and this will show you all the news events for that specific day. We can then filter these news events according to high, medium and low impact news as well as add a currency filter to avoid seeing any unnecessary news which is not applicable to you. If you'd like to then add indicators to your chart, you can simply navigate over to the FX icon here and select that. Here you will have a range of indicators to choose from and a range of color options as well. For example, if we wanted to add Bollinger Bands, we could simply select Bollinger Bands and here you can input your desired specifications as well as change the colors and thickness of the lines. Once this is done, you can simply press Add Bollinger Bands. And there you go, they'll be on your chart like that. And the last really cool feature you need to know about can be found here. If you go across to this person icon here and go down to performance, here you will see all the stats which will be updated for you each day. So that's another really cool feature on top of all the others. And that should be it for this basic tutorial on how to use Match Trader. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out over any of our support channels and the team would be happy to assist you.